Chinese paleoanthropologists have just made a major announcement. In the 1970s, Chinese archaeologists digging near the Sangan River on the border of Shanxi and Hebei provinces discovered a partial cranium and 20 other postcranial um, fossils. They have completed their decades of analysis and have just published their conclusions. The Shanxi and Hebei provinces are southwest of Beijing. Shanxi province. Hebei province. Distinguished anthropologists with the Institute for Vertebrate Paleontology in Beijing have announced Homo Juluensis, or Julu Ren for short. November 29, 2024, phys.org. Homo Juluensis, possible new ancient human species uncovered by researchers. phys.org. Homo Juluensis lived approximately 300,000 years ago in Eastern Asia, hunted in small groups, made stone tools and possibly processed and hides for survival before disappearing around 50,000 years ago. Dr. Xiu J. Wu used the very latest dating techniques to reanalyze specimens that had been sensu lato lumped into the emerging Denisovan taxonomical classification. Dr. Wu, the increase in field and laboratory initiatives in Asia are leading to the discovery and identification of new hominid fossils that are only adding to this complexity. Paper. There is a greater degree of hominid morphological variability present in Eastern Asia than previously assumed. Homo juluensis includes several well-known fossils that were previously thought to be Denisovans but had remained uncertain. These include quite notably both the Pengu and Tibetan Plateau mandibles. Homo juluensis existing fossil record. Continuing, indeed, a number of distinct populations are present, some that now have new specific names. We describe the various groupings based on the current hominid fossil record. Please take a few moments to look at the chart in the paper. What this means for Dragon Man. Homo longi was first announced in 2021, shocking the world of paleoanthropology. The skull cranium had been sitting at the bottom of a well in Manchuria for 80 years before it was handed over to local scientists. Smithsonian, quote, the discovery of the Harbin cranium and our analysis suggests that there is a third lineage of archaic human that once lived in Asia. Dragon Man is closer with Homo sapiens than the Neanderthals, end quote, says Professor Shijun Ni at Hebei University. With the new paper, Homo longi has finally been recognized with full species status. Spatial range in northern China, Homo longi is identified as a sister species to Homo sapiens. Remarkably, Katerina Harvati and her friend Chris Stringer both proposed that the Dali and Harbin skulls seem quite similar when Homo longi was announced in 2021. 
Stringer, who had been working closely with the Chinese, had been promoting the name Homo Dalesiensis, but Homo Longi is now the official designation. Lumpers versus splitters. The authors go on to discuss lumping versus splitting, Asian Homo erectus, Peking man versus Dubois Pithecanthropus is used as an example. Continuing, lumpers tend to emphasize similarities between fossils, Sinanthropus pekinensis, along with Pithecanthropus, collapse into Homo erectus. Sidebar, which infuriated the notoriously cantankerous Dubois. Continuing, these data were then used to form the foundation of multi-regional evolution. New study challenges out of Africa model. The authors propose a combination of dispersals from Africa over a period of 300,000 to 50,000 years ago. Proponents of the out of Africa theory have long posited that Homo sapiens dispersed into Eurasia around 50,000 to 60,000 years ago. They have also asserted that this was with full replacement of Neanderthals and any other hominid species on the Eurasian continent without any genetic admixture. An alternative human journey. Rebecca Kahn and Alan Wilson of the University of California, Berkeley were the original proponents of the out of Africa theory. However, in the last two decades, anatomist Alice Roberts of the UK has emerged as the primary face of out of Africa proponents. In 2009, the BBC dispatched Dr. Roberts to Beijing for an interview with China's foremost anthropologist, Xin Shi Wu. The conversation was cordial, yet unmistakably frosty. Alice Roberts gently pushed back on Dr. Wu, exclaiming that there was little basis for multi-regional or for a continuity model from ancient Chinese descended from Homo erectus to modern Chinese. The two visited the cave. Robert's narration, quote, For him, Joel Caldeon, upper caveman, is proof the Chinese do descend from Homo erectus, end quote. In the vault back in Beijing, Professor Wu, quote, We have more flat face, not very protruding nose, so we inherited some features from our ancestors, end quote. Roberts responds, quote, Professor Wu, you've spent a lifetime studying these skulls, and I am just a novice. But these early Chinese skulls look similar to other skulls in Europe. It doesn't look Chinese to me, end quote. Roberts clarifies Dr. Wu's view with a lighthearted laugh, quote, so, the features you're looking at sort of represent the features of modern Chinese today, end quote. Her later narration, quote, For him, the Chinese come from a completely different branch of the human family, end quote. Now, 15 years later, Wu and Bei find continuity in Eurasia. Modern humans dispersed out of Africa in multiple waves and interacted with smaller indigenous populations regularly. Evidence increasingly shows distinct lineage for modern Chinese. As the paper's authors note, in China, fossil evidence was always interpreted that modern Chinese people today could trace their ancestry directly back to Homo erectus, Joel Caldeon. From the abstract, modern humans across Eurasia likely arose as a result of a combination of dispersals and introgression events, showing clearly that multiple hominid lineages 
were present in China. Western anthropologists, mainly in academia, have pushed back hard on any challenges to out of Africa. Professor Xiu Jie and Bao's recent paper presents a serious challenge to Professor Roberts and others out of Africa model. Recall, recent out of Africa theory posits no continuity from existing species such as Homo erectus to Homo sapiens or admixture with other archaic hominid species such as Neanderthals or Denisovans. Authors of a 2015 paper in Scientific Reports noted several recent finds in South China dating between 130,000 years ago and 70,000 years ago have led to the suggestion that modern humans may have appeared much earlier in East Asia than conventional wisdom allows. Emerging evidence strongly supports Asian continuity model. As of 2023, there is some computational evidence of likely Homo erectus admixture in the modern Asian genome. Paper PLOS Genetics 2023 we estimate that the gene flow occurred between 200 to 300,000 years ago. About 15% of these super archaic regions, comprising at least about 4 MB, were in turn introgressed into modern humans. Science Alert 2023. There is the possibility that the unknown ancestor is actually Homo erectus. Some 15% of these mysterious Super archaic regions of DNA found in the Denisovan genome are still in circulation in humans today. Quantum Magazine, Fossil DNA 2019. When the team looked at the Denisovan genome, they found fragments of DNA in it from an even earlier hominid. It might have been Homo erectus which split it off about one million years ago. Continuing from Quanta, quote, we're starting to see the next wave of methods development, end quote, said Joshua Akay, a professor of genomics at Princeton University, quote, and that's allowing us to start making new inferences from the data that the previous generation of methods couldn't make, end quote. Modern Chinese fully evolved directly from Homo erectus remains a possibility, but at this stage, given the paucity of evidence, hard to confirm. As new fossil evidence emerges, we may learn that there are two subspecies that diverge from Asian erectus, Julu Ren and Dragon Man. What is now confirmed is over 300,000 years dispersal on the Eurasian continent. That is ample time for separate evolutionary paths for Asians to diverge from the Africans. From the existing molecular evidence and the new analysis of the fossil evidence just announced, one thing is clear. separate and distinct origins. Thank you for watching. We will be able to see this video in the Chinese version. Thank you.